let go. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the channel, let's go. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the channel, let's go. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the channel, let's go. Hit the like, share, and subscribe. Let's go. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the channel, let's go. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the channel, let's go. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the channel, let's go. Hit the like, share, and subscribe. Let's go. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Carolina David, coming at you again with another video. Today, I have a video that's going to be kind of controversial. And, you know, so be it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, if this is your first time uh, checking in, tuning into my uh, channel, make sure you hit that subscribe, man. Hit that bell notification so you can get updated to the content that I put up. And hit that like and hit that share. And if y'all have any disagreement with what I say, write it in the comment section or email me at carolinadavid911 at gmail.com. All right, let's get into it. Today, I want to talk about these yoga pants, these booty shorts, and all of, all of the above. The stuff that's very basically revealing of a woman. And my question is this, should that or should it not be considered as uh, nudity? And in a sense, sexual harassment, when, especially when you put it up on like TikTok and stuff like that, because TikTok was basically created for children. And when you got women up here on TikTok, man, and they wearing these daggone yoga pants that's all up in their booty crack and they got their legs wide open and you can see their dag on their, their, their cooch, like the women say, that should be considered sexual harassment. I mean, because like, I got a little boy. My boy now is 11 years old. And if you got women up there that's shaking their behind, twerking, wearing those type of clothing, these little boys are looking. And that should be considered sexual harassment because, like, you're imposing upon this child's mind. And even, you're even imposing on the men's mind. Because let's be honest, I'm a man. I ain't even going to sit here and lie. When you see them women with, with, them, with that stuff on, the first thing the man thinks is, good God, she thick. And a lot of these men is going to get in your inbox. And also, it's hard... It, you, Women that wear stuff like that, you make it hard on men that are married or in a committed relationship. Reason why? Because we men, we go off of sight. So if we see something that we like, temptation is already at the door. It's knocking at the door. But anyway, let me get back. The reason why I consider that to be nudity, man, because like, I don't know if y'all remember back in the day. Back in the day, if a woman come outside with her bra and panties on, you was considered to be in the nude. If a woman had um, too short of uh, a skirt on or whatever like that, it was considered to be in the nude. So why is it that today that same thing isn't considered? Like you see, you see women on TikTok uh, you see women on Instagram where they be in their bikinis, the thong bikinis, and nothing to say. Like, you walk literally on the beach and everything, and nothing to say. And there are videos actually out here where when women are laying on the beach in their thong bikinis, where these little babies, little boys be looking at their, staring at their behind. Like, that's the reason why I feel as though that should be considered sexual harassment. And, and and especially with these little kids, man, like, you shouldn't be too revealing, man, for these little kids to be able to see what you got, to see your butt. Like, you got videos where little boys actually smack girls on their butt. And, the, and what's the first thing that these girls and these women do? He he he. It's not funny. Like, I, I bet my bottom dollar that if a man would have been wearing 
like I'm gonna just keep to along the same lines. If a man would have been wearing tight yoga pants, or like in a sense where he showing his bulge all all the time, you people will have a problem, especially in front of your children. You would you would have a problem with that. Like, hey man, you need to dress more appropriately. Well, why not say that? Why not? Why shouldn't? Why isn't it that you hold women to the same, you know what I'm saying, standard? Like, that should be considered inappropriate. And I ain't gonna lie. I, like, I feel it's inappropriate. Why? Because one, I'm married, and two, I ain't gonna sit here and lie and say that seeing a woman fat, uh, with a fat behind is not appealing. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it shouldn't be that it shouldn't be hard. Like y'all make it hard on men out here, man. Y'all make it hard on men to stay to stay committed in a relationship, man. Because like the first thing he want, like when he sees something like that, he want it. So what do y'all think, man? Like shouldn't that be considered with these yoga pants where it's so tight you can see your dag on you you can see the curvature of your of your backside or it's so tight you can see the the uh the print of your uh your cooch shouldn't that be considered sexual harassment for to like these kids and stuff like that and shouldn't it be considered nudity and then and then on top of that it's a shame where these down going women let their little daughters wear the same thing yo y'all let these like y'all let these little girls wear these tight they're gonna pants and stuff like that and them little boys gonna be looking heck even these grown men be looking. Y'all see these videos where they there go uh where they set up sting operations on these men to meet 14 year old little kid. Why do you think that is? Men go off of what they see. Cover yourselves up, man. Dress dress appropriately. Especially for little girls. Little girls shouldn't be dressing like that. They need to dress appropriately. Anyway, I'm gonna end that video by saying this. I'm gonna end this video by saying this. People need to come start speaking out on the, the the nonsense of dressing, like of how these women dress. It doesn't make sense that these women these women go out here and they literally dress like hookers, and then you let your little daughters dress like hookers and hoes. Like this don't make any sense. And then the first thing y'all want to do is cry wolf whenever somebody or uh, whenever a man approach you. Or go in your inbox. You want to sit here and try to out that man because he's approaching you off of what he see. Stop putting pictures up when your booty is on the air on uh on the bathroom sink and um you turn to turn around to a certain pose where your butt is showing. Stop putting those pictures up and maybe you won't have men coming to hollering at you trying to have sex. Anyway, I love y'all. Peace.